This is MEC 23 and we're going to look at the measurement and inspection of the valves. So you can see up here we got the number and type. So this is one intake, one exhaust, two intake, two exhaust. If you have more than six we just have to have a bigger chart. So we're going to look at the diameter. Okay so that's the stem diameter and you can see what's got labeled here. So you can stick your micrometer and you're going to measure from one side to the other. You also may need to notice that there is no wear over the full length of the stem and that's because over in this area there's the valve spring and that spring sits down a little ways so there's not going to be any wear above where the valve spring is but you'll see it mostly where the valve sits in the valve guide and that's typically got some wear marks on it so that you can see and it's quite obvious so that's where you want to measure where it's going to wear the most. Stem wear is if you have scratches along the length of the valve stem and so you're going to take your fingernail and you're just going to see if your fingernail catches as you rotate this valve see if your fingernail catches on that on those scratches if there's any there good valve margin you can see the valve margin here I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can get a better look valve margin is this tiny little lip I'm going to color it red right in there that's the valve margin it's not very big you will use a digital caliper and you'll just measure from there to there. Good. The next thing we'll measure is, uh, or inspect actually, is the valve keepers and the valve keeper grooves and we'll do that at the same time. You can see our valve keeper grooves are right in here. We're going to take our valve keepers, set them right inside there, put them on just like they were when we had them with, when you had the spring installed and there should be if we look at the end of the valve the valve keepers should sit in there like that it should sit in like that and there should be a gap in here there needs to be a gap if there is no gap then those aren't seating deep into the groove deep enough just put them in there spin them around a bit see if there's going to be any chance that they're going to come loose while the spring is putting pressure on them and that is the valve inspection and measurement.